Are you struggling to load an external JavaScript file in your Angular application? You're not alone. Today, we're going to tackle this common issue and show you how to dynamically load that script like a pro. I totally get it. It can be really frustrating when you add a script to your project, but it just doesn't work as expected. Many developers face this challenge, especially when integrating third-party widgets. Here's the specific question we're addressing today. One user asked, what is the correct way to load the Skyscanner search widget in my Angular component without needing a full page refresh. If you've ever faced a similar issue, stick around as we find a solution together. So why does this happen? When you add a script to your index.html, it loads when the page is refreshed, but the widget may not find the necessary DOM elements if they aren't available yet. This is a common pitfall in Angular applications. And don't go anywhere. At the end of this video, I'll share a quick tip that will make loading external scripts in Angular a breeze. To dynamically load the external JavaScript file, the user should first create a method in their Angular component. This method will be responsible for loading the script when the component initializes. Next, the user should call this method in the ng-onInit lifecycle hook of the component. This ensures that the script loads as soon as the component is initialized. After loading the script, the user may need to ensure that the widget is rendered correctly. This can be done by using a set timeout function to delay the widget initialization until the script has fully loaded. Finally, the user should test the implementation by running the Angular application. They can check if the Skyscanner widget appears correctly without needing a full page refresh. Fun fact, did you know that the first JavaScript was created in just 10 days? Imagine what you could do with that kind of focus. Now let's look at the answers provided by other users. An alternative approach shared by another user involves creating a promise to handle the loading of the external script. In the constructor, they define a load API promise that resolves when the script is fully loaded. This ensures that any variables from the script can be used safely in the ng-onInit lifecycle method. The user also includes a load script function that checks if the script is already present in the document. If not, it creates a new script element, sets its attributes, and appends it to the head of the document. That's all on that answer. Let's take a look at another one. An alternative approach suggested by a user involves modifying the Angular KLI.json file. You can declare the external script by adding its path under the script section. Then, in your component, simply declare the Skyscanner variable. This method ensures the script is loaded correctly without needing a full page refresh. That's the end of that answer. Let's see another perspective. An alternative approach shared by another user suggests adding the external script directly to your index.html file at the bottom of the body section. This ensures that the script loads properly. Then, in your component, you can declare the variable for the script and call the necessary methods in the ngOnInit lifecycle hook. Alternatively, you can create a script element dynamically in your component. This method involves creating a new script node, setting its properties, and appending it to the body. This can be useful for older versions of Angular. Let's take a look at an answer from another user. An alternative approach shared by another user involves creating a service to dynamically load external JavaScript files. This service, called File Injector Service, manages the loading of scripts and ensures they are only loaded once. The service maintains a list of scripts and checks if they are already loaded before attempting to load them again. This prevents unnecessary loading and ensures that the scripts are ready when needed. That's the end of that answer. Let's see another perspective. An alternative approach shared by a user involves dynamically loading the external JavaScript files in the Angular component's neon-init lifecycle method. They create script elements for each required file, set their source URLs, and append them to the document body. 
Here's the quick tip I promised. Always clean up your scripts by removing them when the component is destroyed. This helps prevent memory leaks and keeps your application running smoothly. And there you have it. You should now be able to dynamically load external JavaScript files in your Angular components without any hassle. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe for more tips and tricks.